Previously on Tives Golf. On the front nine, I want to see how much easier the front tee boxes were, but was in for a surprise as the meltdown began and things began to spiral out of control. Now with the back nine and some long, difficult par threes, I put my skills to the test from the tips and try to bounce back from the disastrous start to the front. Will it happen? Stay tuned to find out. Go anywhere. Hole 10 in the first hole of the video, from the back tee boxes this fairway looks pretty narrow, but a drive right at the lone tree, or just left of it, allows the longer hitters a go at the green. I went down the right side, and this may be a blessing to disguise. 265 yards into the green and played the 6-iron smartly down the fairway, this actually hit the card sign and did not allow me to get the extra 2 yards of roll. Now this back 9 will get windy, so if there's any audio that is muted, that is why. If you missed the front nine, that's probably a good thing, but the greens were just recently punched and sanded. So the speed of these greens is just a guessing guessing game. However, in reality, I just wanted to give you a longer look at the beautiful shoreline lake. That is the only reason here I three-putted. The first of the two par threes on the back nine, both long, playing into the wind, and extremely difficult. Hole 11 playing around 200 yards has OB short and left, and normally when a play from the white tees this plays as a 2-3 to three club wind. So anything in play here and I'm happy. I told my playing partner Colton before the round I was going to play smart and not try to hit any flop shots, however this shot called for it. Again, any putt here is just a guess, and it would have been a miracle know, today to make a putt. Yeah. As we're taking the last view of the lake, hear me out. How cool would it be to put an island green here? Something similar to the 19th hole at Paynes Valley. I get there are protected animals, but I would be here for hours. But now, back to the golf. Well, I don't know what I what? I don't know where to watch. I, I don't, yeah, I don't know what I can carry and what I can't. I'm gonna hit it hard. You want me to take this in Nah, uh, we'll figure it out. Let me know if you like it better with me doing voiceovers or just talking during my live round. This shot calls for a fade off this left bunker, and well, I hit a righty fade. Uh, I think it bounced in. Stayed just short of the right side bunker, and this shot I must have misjudged the wind as I have no idea how this ball ended up short. However, pretty happy with this chip. Got it to within a couple feet, but unless your name is Colton, there is no putts going to be made today. Hole 14, and not only is this hole played back into the wind, it is played directly into the sun. I wanted to keep it low so I could see where it ended up, however, wait for the slow motion replay of where this one ends. This ball came within a driver's head of hitting Colton's clubs and saving me a thousand dollars to buy him another. This 5-iron I thought I hit was perfect, but must have got a kick left, just missing the green. Absolutely no business chipping this other than to get practice in. And from here I was happy to convert the up and down for par.
15th hole runs back down toward the 14th tee box. I have played here over 100 times and I have never seen the pin position in the area they put it today. However, before that, I have to deal with this fun shot. Heads up, Cole. Let's go anywhere. Oh my god. Go! <laughs> Wrong gap, but it worked. After that miracle shot, they normally have the pin located where I am, making it for an easy par. But a slight misread and thinking the, the sand and the hill would slow it down gave me flashbacks to the front nine. Even though this putt is in the rough, it still counts as a putt as my first putt came from the green. And from here on these greens, this putt is good. Final hole going into the sun, and if you're wondering where the green is, it's basically right under the sun. This drive gets lost in the sun, but it's always nice to get a feel for your tendency with certain clubs. I've been trying to hit fades, and this feeling as if the ball did go left made it easier to find. No point here in trying to get to the green as I can't reach it, and just laid up down the right side with a good look in. From here I'm just keeping it honest with you guys, and this was actually my second shot from here. I hit my first one and went back to m and found out my phone was not recording. First one landed just below the hole with an easy uphill putt, just about where my camera is, whereas the second one that you saw me hit landed right here. I would rather have the first shot, but that's my, that's my fault for not recording. Now the real reason I wanted to play from the tips was for this hole right here. A 207 yard monster probably playing 220 into a slight breeze. With the pin tucked on the left and OB short and left of the green, makes a bogey here feel like a birdie. Got scared and bailed out right, only to find this junk. Had to go low and did not have any other options. Don't know how my pitch shot here rolled out so far, giving myself a long look for bogey. I thought I hit it solid at first, and then just the sand killed it, but happy to two putt from that distance. I wanted that bird so bad. I had absolutely no shot in it. Final hole of the day, and what would you do if you see this happening in front of you? This guy goes back and forth, hitting ultimately three golf balls, resulting in me being on the tee for quite some time and the group behind us ended up catching up to us. With all that weight, is there any other option of what's to come from this? If you guess the duck hook out of bounds, you are correct. I play everything here as a lateral and dropped here playing my third shot. This three wood goes left of the green but stays safe, and I am forced here to hit another high flop shot. Another beauty, leaving me with this bogey look, and take a look at what happens. I chunked it. I chunked the putt. Like this video if you think you can do better, and until then, I'll see you in the next one.